Hi, this is Josh with Resort TV One, and today I'm taking you on a tour of the Christmas decorations at Disney's Beach Club Resort and Disney's Yacht Club Resort here in the Epcot area. We hope you enjoy the video, and please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already done so, so that you can be notified every time we go live or have a new video. Also, be sure to follow us on social media. We're Resort TV One on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So, let's get started. Love all the decorations on these poles here. A lot of it's the same from year to year, but I always love coming to check it out. And inside, of course, is the main event with the uh, all the chocolate and gingerbread uh, craftsmanship there that'll be on display. So let's go inside and check it out and see what we can see. We'll start in the beach club here on this side. So here it is. The gingerbread and chocolate carousel, one of the coolest things ever. And the fact that it turns is just amazing. It is just so crazy that Disney can create something that is actually made of food and moves. Of course, you can't ride it, but wow, look at the craftsmanship. Even on that one, especially. It's absolutely incredible. So let's take a second and we'll let all these horses come by and I'll get a good shot for you guys to really admire the detail on each one. Now there are hidden Mickeys all over this and we're not going to take the time to find all of them but uh, if you ever do come down here you can uh, spend some time looking at all the details and find some hidden Mickeys. And each horse has a name and a theme as well. There's Donald Duck. <laughs> By the way, this video is in 4K, so if you have a 4K TV or monitor, you can get really, really great detail by switching up to 4K resolution. There's all the horses. And you can also look at all the detail on top. And at the top is uh, Donald and Daisy. We'll see them when they come around, and you can see all the gingerbread shingles and all the frosting and everything uh, fake snow on the top that really pulls it all together I hear they come around for another turn let me get a zoom on them there they are it's pretty cool of course they do have this whole area fenced off but they have the poinsettias and ferns in here to make it even more beautiful and just lush. I read somewhere how many thousands of poinsettias that Disney uses every year at Christmas time. It's pretty amazing. Let's go take a look at one of the signs that explains uh, what all is involved in this display. There you go. You can see all the different ingredients. 19 hidden Mickeys. 2019 pieces of gingerbread. That's kind of uh, unique for the year 2019 that's coming up here in a few weeks. Pause the video if you want to read a little more. And there's another horse off by itself, and that one says Mickey on it, I believe. Let me get a zoom on there. Wow, the detail on that is just absolutely incredible. Ginger, that fits. Mickey and Minnie, oh, I see that. So you got stockings on either side. Say Mickey and Minnie, Beach Club Resort logo. And then over here, you have a Christmas tree on the horse's back. I don't know. Last year was pretty cool, but I think this is even more detailed than last year. This is really incredible. Get a little closer to the tree there. Wow. Here's a little message from the creators of the gingerbread house. And the beautiful and relaxing beach club lobby is all decked out with garland. And uh, I love that they've used the pastel colors in the uh, beach theme of the beach club. It's very appropriate. So here's the, one of the main Christmas trees here. Of course, they don't have gigantic Christmas trees in here because the uh, main attraction is, of course, the gingerbread carousel. But still, we've got starfish and all kinds of... Uh, sea life and uh, sea colors. That's 
I know a lot of people love Cape May and it's all decked out as well. We've got a beautiful tree there, as well as a nice display here on the one of the serving windows there. Actually, I think that's a serving window. And I love the nautical theme here on the uh, garland and poinsettias here in each little window looking into the restaurant. I'll come down here and you can see that they have that in every location around this whole walkway. It's pretty amazing. And so now I'm going to walk on down to the Yacht Club and they have an amazing Christmas village, one of the best on property actually. So let's go check that out. And here we are inside of the Yacht Club. And before we get to the Christmas Village, they've got here at this restaurant their own take on the uh, greenery, beautiful around the windows and opening areas here. And a beautiful wreath here. And by the way, the name of this restaurant is uh, Ale and Compass. Look at that here, but I love the ship in the middle of the uh, wreath there. And you can see then the main sign for Ale and Compass restaurant there. So. It's like a really cool place actually. You just duck inside there and you can see, very beautifully decorated. But here we are, the piece de resistance of the Yacht Club, the Christmas Village. It's just absolutely huge, incredible, and so detailed. And again, just like the uh, Beach Club, they have it surrounded by a sea of beautiful red poinsettias. So let's get an overview here and then we'll go take a closer look at everything. So I have no idea how long this takes them to set up, but and my grandmother used to have a Christmas village, uh, not quite this elaborate, but fairly elaborate. And uh, just amazing all the moving pieces here and everything. You've got the guy blowing snow off of his driveway here. Little snowman water tower up there. And here's the town square. All the details just so amazing. Got the church up at the top in the back there. All the people busy with their holiday caroling and shopping. And you've got a little gazebo even down there and a little sign on it. It's so cool. There's the toy store. Got a frozen pond over here. Here we have the signs for uh, the different locations around the uh, resort. You've got the uh, Crew Cup, which is uh, one of the bars here, as well as the Bayside Marina, where you can rent boats here at the Beach Club and the Yacht Club. Of course, this is in the Yacht Club, but they're both uh, part of the same resort area. And isn't this amazing how we've got uh, this frozen river here that kind of leads down into uh, a creek and goes all the way across the uh, train tracks there and you've got a canoe and I mean it's just literally like they've created another world here. There's even a camper over here. You can look around at this for a long time and see something different every time. Sorry if it's a little jerky I'm trying to uh, get every angle and sometimes the gimbal doesn't like the ways that I point it. On the back side we have this kind of uh, Mickey Mouse village which is kind of cool. And you've got a sign for the Lafferty Place Arcade which is here in the resort. Mickey's Ear Factory and Gumball Emporium looks like a lot of fun. You have Mickey and some snowmen there. <laughs> now seriously, who wouldn't want to have this in their living room if you had room for it? <laughs> There's Santa down there. 
the train is not moving. Uh, in the past, I've seen it move. Maybe they're having issues with it, I'm not sure. There's a sign for the Cape May Cafe up there at the top. It's really cool. And there's Arendelle, the Ice Palace, and looks like Wandering Oakens over there. <laughs> Olaf and Anna and Elsa and Kristoff. Here we have minis over here. I love the little colored, almost gumdrops underneath the snow there. There's Mater down there. I could probably go all over this place and see something new every time. Look at this. There's it's like Mickey and Minnie ice skating there in the middle of the pond. So if you're ever here in the area, you definitely need to check out this village. It's incredible. And one more wide shot from the front just so you can see how huge it is from the side here. And let's look at the rest of the lobby. A really amazing tree here. I love all the ships in it. We've got this uh, speedboat yacht here and a gigantic sail ship here. So it's really neat that they have uh, such different decorations on this tree as opposed to Beach Club because this is a little bit more of a serious theme resort and the other one, uh, the Beach Club next door, is a little more whimsical. I know I've got backlighting behind the tree there so it's not the best shot but you can still see how huge it is. All the way up to the ceiling. It's actually anchored up there it looks like which is kind of cool. And just like at the beach club, they've got garlands stretched all around the whole lobby here. Now we'll get a shot of the tree from this side where the lighting's a little better. Got all the different boats in there. just a little closer you can see some of the detail look at that one it's beautiful that's about all for now of this uh, tour of the Christmas decorations here at the Yacht and Beach Club Resorts. We hope you enjoyed the video. Again, remember to subscribe and leave a like and a comment. It really helps the video when you do that. Thought we'd come outside the Yacht Club here to finish the video. And please don't forget to check out our sponsors. They help make all the magic possible for you guys. So our first sponsor is MickeyBlog.com and MickeyTravels.com for the best in free Disney vacation planning advice. Go check out MickeyTravels.com to book your next trip to Disney. Also, make sure you check out windowrepairparts.us. They have all your window and door repair part needs. And use the coupon code RESORTTV1 for 20% off your purchase at windowrepairparts.us. Also, be sure to check out MainStreetDVCresale.com. See how easy it is to sell your DVC commission-free at MainStreetDVCresale.com. So for now, have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye. Now that you've finished watching this video, be sure that you're subscribed so that you can get all of the latest updates. Also, check out some other great videos on our channel. Have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye.